today we're doing a topography top what? i'm going to show you the basics of typography fonts are very important so just know that i'm going to remove the stroke and then i'm going to make it black so yeah now when you make a typography edit you're going to have to know these controls because they're very important if we go under our text layer and then we press animate and then we press all transform properties this is all going to pop up now i'm going to explain each one of them really quickly so first we got anchor point the little red circle that you see right here that is where the anchor is basically if your anchor point is off everything else is going to be off as well position this moves it up and down scale makes the letters bigger and smaller skew like distorts it like that skew axes that changes the skew and then rotation we just did that if we press add and then we go to tracking it spreads out your letters and then if i press add selector wiggly this gives me wiggly text and then if i like add a little rotation it'll make my text rotatey if i do character offset i don't know glitchy text effect and then if i press character value this one is going to do the same thing but i don't know how to explain it but yeah now what does range do i don't know what range does oh i see this one's more so for like text expressions i think and then if we do expression we can make our own actually if we want we can also like animate the fill color to be wiggly as well and then that gives us like each letter changes same thing with the stroke but add property stroke width and it just like you know does that so yeah that's everything that you need to know for those anyway starting our tutorial what we're gonna do is create a new text we're gonna do Jaden effects again find a new font first thing we're gonna do is add a new solid very easy solid and then this can be any color that you want and then i'm going to do rectangle tool and go over my text and then i'm going to drag this under the text layer and then i'm going to change the text layer color to white and then i'm going to position this like more centered in there and then after that what we're going to do is kind of make this reveal so we're going to go in effects and presets search for wipe and then we're going to go under linear wipe put that on the solid press u on your keyboard to bring up all your keyframes and then we're simply just going to oh it already like animates itself if you want you can add a graph if your graph doesn't look like this just go under here press speed graph so yeah we're going to select our pen tool and what we're going to make is a shape layer so we're going to do something like this and it should give us a shape layer like that and then what we can do is change the stroke width if we want scale this up now click our text layer and then we're gonna do another mask we're gonna match the shape layer that we did so we're just gonna do something like that we can edit it click this twice and then we're gonna go under text and then path option and we're gonna set our path option to mask one and what this is gonna do is make a path but we have to put this on top now all we have to do is do our path option so click that twice again and then we're gonna go under text go under path and then where it says first margin we're gonna mess around with this move this all the way off the screen so you can't see it go to the beginning of your timeline click first margin go towards the end and then just keep dragging it until it reaches the other side well what i like to do is set a keyframe in the middle so then it's like a quick pause and then we're just going to do a graph like this and it should look something like this but if you want you can make it like faster i know this is kind of slow and then turn on motion blur this inside more so just position it downwards and then it should look something like this to add more effects all you have to do is search for drop shadow add that on the shape layer change the distance make it go outwards and then we're just going to duplicate this and then we can just change the colors if we want i kind of like the bluish colors so just keep duplicating it and changing the color as you wish and then you can change the distance of course and then we can change this color to white at drop shadow then we should get something like this next effect we have this like handwritten effect and this one is somewhat easy somewhat yeah it's easy i don't care click our text layer and then what we have to do is use our pen tool and we're simply going to like mask around our shape text layer and then you just have to like move around using the h tool which is the hand tool and then press g to bring up your pen tool again and then you're just moving around trying to 
do something like this. The more detailed the mask, the better it's gonna look, but I'm too lazy for all that. So we're just going around it like this. Do, 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 do. All right, guys, once you have finished your masking, we can zoom out of this. What we're gonna do is search for stroke, and then you're gonna drag this on there. And then what we're gonna do is change the start and ending. So we're first gonna change this to reveal original image. And then we're gonna go to the beginning of our timeline. We're gonna make a keyframe for end and we're gonna change this to zero. And then we're gonna go forward a few frames and then we're gonna change this to a hundred. And then after that, we can change the brush size to a good amount. And then you get something like that. So depending on how you want the effect to look, if the brush hardness is at zero, it'll look something like this. So these are my settings right here if you wanna quickly copy them. But anyways, after we do this, what we can do is pre-compose this, and then we can actually duplicate this, move this forward a few frames, and add fill. You can change the color to whatever you want. Duplicate the layer one more time, move it forward a few frames, and then change it to a different color. That should be good. But then if we play it back, we get this cool like, effect but these are a little too spaced apart so move it a little bit closer and then we get the yeah and then if you want you can just keep layering it but and then we get something like this and then also guys this is what it looks like with these settings and it looks more handwritten all right guys and then last thing on our typography beginner tutorial trust i'm gonna make more tutorials on this but this like circular 3d effect and it's actually like very very easy if i click it press new and then text and then we're just gonna do something like this and it should be like one to five of the words and then after that what we're gonna do is make a new shape layer ellipse tool mask and then we're just going to do something like this we'll shift to make it a perfect circle then we're going to go under text paths options and mask one and then we're going to animate and then we're going to press enable per character 3d we're going to fix this in a second guys don't worry press animate animate tracking do this press animate again and then animate rotation and what this is going to do is make us be able to rotate these but we're going to change the x rotation and then we're gonna change it to 90. And after that, we can press R on the layer, and then we can change the X rotation to do this. But as you can see, it's not centered like the anchor point, so all you have to do is right click this, and then we're gonna press transform, and then center anchor point and layer content. And then after that, we can just use position to center it. And then we're gonna press R to animate it, and then all we have to do is click the stopwatch, go forward a few frames, and then rotate it however you want and then you should get something like this and then if you want you can also you know add something in the middle of it but i don't really feel like it to bring up all your keyframes press u and then if you're feel like feeling extra you can just like also like animate whatever else you want after we do this what we can do is pre-compose this right click pre-compose after that we're going to duplicate this and then we're going to add ccy time and then we're going to change forward steps to zero, change backward steps to about six, and then turn on native motion blur. And then we're going to add tint, and then we're just going to change the color to whatever you want. Map black one to blue. And then after that, we're basically done. But I'm going to add deep glow because deep glow is the best. And then of course, add drop shadow, whatever you want. But yeah, after that, you're done. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you found it enjoyable, I suggest you click that like button and comment some more video ideas because I love to do what you guys suggest and it just helps the channel. I love you, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.